All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 disaster film called Twisters. And I kept hearing up until the, the second trailer that this was a sequel. I can tell you right now with no spoilers, uh, after watching this, there is nothing really other than a couple references here and there that ties this to the movie. Um, so it really doesn't tie it to the movie. So it is a, in my personal opinion, it is a, uh, a remake. But here's the plot either way. Haunted by the devastating encounter with tor a tornado, Kate Cooper gets lured back to the open plains by her friend, Java, to test a groundbreaking new tracking system. She soon crosses paths with Tyler Owens, a charming but reckless social media superstar, as, as storm season intensifies, in, 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 sorry, Kate, Tyler, and their competing teams find themselves in a fight for their lives as multiple systems converge over central Oklahoma. Now, that was a lot, but here is some of the cast. Now, I'll admit, I was definitely a not in, on board with this being made when this was announced. And even when the first trailer came out. It wasn't needed and straight up looked like a scene to scene copy of the first or first one or the original, whatever you want to call it, according to the first trailer I saw. But being hearing good things about it for since it came out uh, and saw a better trailer, which was the second one. And honestly, it was caught my interest into it and got me a little bit excited. Now, it does have similar stuff to it, but I wouldn't say it's a direct copy of the 90s film, which I thought it was going to be 100% and I was worried about. It definitely has its own story with little shout outs to the original here and there. Very subtle in my opinion. Now, they brought it up to modern times with technology, the whole YouTuber thing and all that stuff they just you got modern stuff like the, the uh, smartphones and all that stuff if you've seen the, the 90s one you can tell a big difference in in how it is even though cowboy youtuber uh aka the influence is and his crew and annoyed the hell out of me for the first part of the film i definitely love the spins they put on this completely caught me off guard with certain character stories. And the stories were fantastic by the end, uh, the well-rounded and all that with this, the, uh, the character stories and development. This honestly had more of a heart-filled message showing the good and bad side of humanity. It also felt way more rounded and fuller story-wise, like I said. And it also has a romantic side to it. And it's it's like a disaster drama romant, romantic um, film. The 90s one was more of a pure action film from beginning to end. This had uh, action and chaos, but was way more deeper story driven. Now here's my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. Now again, I'll admit, because I regret it, that I judged this f film very harshly before it started. Uh, but, but, and before it started, but also just when it was announced. The film's, film's writing was technically way better than the 90s one. I will, I will argue that because there is so much more of a difference to this one, it's hard to really compare it to. However, I would technically say, because of the writing and how deep, detailed it all is, and just everything about it, this was way better than the first one. And that's saying something because I actually really, really liked the first one. First one, original, whatever you call it, reboot, I don't know. Again, I don't know. People have been saying both. But this is either way, in my strong opinion, 
by the end of this was definitely sold me on what I on on a five star rating. Um, and originally I was going to give it a four out of five until the final act, which was phenomenal. Um, I didn't get really a adrenaline rush most of the time, but when it came to that part, 100% five out of five axes. Now, again, I do highly recommend this film. Um, it's, it's definitely on its own turf. Um, definitely, you got to see the first one to even recognize the, the, uh, the, the, the throwouts or the shoutouts for recall them. Other than that, you really don't need to see the first one because this is completely, like, again, on its own type of film. Uh, it's just, they could easily just axe the 90s one out and start building, like, two or maybe, yeah, like, one or two more of these films connected to it. However, I would argue, in my strong opinion, it's... It, they finished it off good. So I feel like they would destroy it if they, they made a sequel. But, you know, I, I have been wrong before. But anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, leave your comments down below. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.